The military has a problem. It can't find enough humans. To appeal to Gen Z, the army is pumping out TikTok style get ready with me videos like this. I'm gonna show you my daily hair and makeup routine as well as discuss some of the updated army grooming standards. But it's hardly working. I mean, only 800 people saw that video on Go Army's YouTube channel. The U.S. Army had its most difficult recruiting year since it ended the draft in 1973. The U.S. military is even going to esports and mom influencers, trying to convince you to join. Influencers are not telling them to go into the military. Moms, dads, uncles, coaches, pastors do not see it as a good choice. But what does all of this mean for the world's most powerful country? The military fell short short of its recruitment goals by over 60,000 recruits in 2022. This is the first time the military missed its recruitment goals in more than a decade. Leaving the Army, Navy, and Air Force roughly 30,000 recruits short of their goals. And just look at these numbers. The number of people who have joined the military each year has declined by more than 20% since 2010. The average age of a new recruit is 20 years old. It used to be 18 just a few years ago. And the military is having a harder time recruiting people from certain demographics like women and minorities. But why are people not wanting to join the military anymore? Well, here are four reasons. The wars in Iraq and Afghanistan have taken a toll on the military's reputation. See, many people are hesitant to join an institution that has been involved in so much conflict. And maybe people wonder what was the point of that. Second, there didn't used to be so many options for young people. Today you can be a software engineer in your basement, a YouTuber, a graphic designer, but a few decades ago you were limited to the jobs that were available in your physical community. Third, the job market is very strong right now in the US. The unemployment rate is low. There are many good paying jobs available in the civilian sector. And that means the idea of joining the military is less appealing. I mean, so many people right now wanna work from home instead of an office. So how many people will actually wanna work long hours in physical conditions and maybe even be deployed out of the country for a cause they may or may not believe in? And number four, the military is no longer seen as a guaranteed ticket to a job and a stable future like it might have been seen just a few decades ago. And many people are now more aware of the dangers and challenges of military service. But hold on, the biggest culprit of all of this may actually ironically be veterans. See, 80% of all new recruits have a family member who have served in the military. But now many veterans are telling their kids or grandkids not to join anymore. I did because my father had served in the Second World War in the Army in New Guinea and the Philippines, and I thought it was my obligation to serve. Some veterans are saying, and I quote, I saw too many of my friends die in Iraq and Afghanistan. I don't want my kids to go through that. The military is not what it used to be. It's become more politicized, and I don't want my kids to be involved in any potential conflicts. There are other ways to serve your country without joining the military. You can volunteer your time to help others. You can donate to charity or you can get involved in politics. Your biggest source of recruits used to come join you proudly because their family served, and now many of those same people don't even want to join anymore. You can see how this is turning into a massive problem. See, the military is the backbone of the U.S. national security. It needs a strong pool of recruits to maintain its readiness. If the military can't recruit enough people, it might not be able to meet its missions. So in order to deal with this problem, the U.S. military is kind of lowering its bar. The the military is now relying on older recruits and recruits with lower test scores. It's also offering higher bonuses and incentives to attract more recruits and even reducing its training standards. The government is taking drastic steps to address its recruiting problem. The Pentagon is now increasing its advertising budget and it's offering up to $50,000 just in bonuses if you join. The government is also working hard to improve its image to appeal to more women and minorities. But it remains to be seen if those efforts will be effective. See, the recruiting problem is a massive one and there's no easy solution here. But hold up, does all of this really matter since now things are shifting? I mean, technology is becoming such a big part of warfare. Do we really need so many humans on the ground? I mean, one day, won't we just deploy humanoid robots? Well, yes, technology is playing an increasingly important role in war. You have drones and robots and other high-tech weapons that are more and more common, which are reducing the need for human soldiers. But humans are still essential to warfare. See, humans are needed to make decisions, to operate the technology, and to provide support to the troop. There are still types of warfare that require human soldiers, like counterinsurgency operations. So yes, it's true. Technology 
technology is playing a more important role in warfare, but humans are still essential to the military, and the US military needs a strong pool of recruits to maintain its readiness. But this is not just an American problem. Other countries are having a hard time to get enough young people to want to join their militaries. So what are other countries doing? Israel has compulsory military service for all men and women between the ages of 18 to 21. This ensures that the military has enough number of recruits, even though there is not a lot of interest in military service among young Israelis. Then there's South Korea. South Korea has a volunteer military, but the government offers financial incentives to people who join. And these incentives are pretty good. They include free college tuition and a guaranteed job after military service. And then there's Sweden. Sweden has a volunteer military as well, but the government has been struggling to recruit enough people. So as a response, the government is making it easier than ever to join the military while also increasing the pay and benefits for military personnel. Both President Biden and former President Trump have expressed concern about the US military's recruiting troubles. Biden is saying that the military needs to do a better job of recruiting young people, and he has pledged to increase the military's advertising budget. Trump has also said that the military needs to do a better job of recruiting, and he has proposed a number of changes to the military's recruiting policies. But what happens if the US can't fix this? Well, well, for one, the military could be less effective. The military will have to rely more on technology to compensate for the lack of humans, but this could lead to problems since technology can be unreliable and vulnerable to attacks. Another thing that can happen is the military will just be more expensive. See, the military will have to spend more money on technology to compensate for the lack of human soldiers. This could lead to budget problems since the military already spends a significant amount of money on technology. And finally, the military will become less diverse. See, already it's faced with the challenges of not being able to recruit enough women and minorities. And if there are fewer humans in the military, it will become even more difficult to recruit these groups, which could ultimately have have a negative impact on the military's effectiveness because it would be less representative of the population that it's supposed to defend. But I want to know, what do you think? What should the US military be doing to recruit young people from joining instead of wanting to be YouTubers? And do you see this as a problem? What does the future of the world's most powerful military look like? Let me know your comments below. While you're at it, check out more of my videos like this and don't forget to subscribe.